the glass is designed so that you get a huge evaporation area here. Evaporation is everything. That's the only way the smells get from a liquid to your nose. So that means you want to promote evaporation. That means there has to be a large enough surface area here so that you can swirl the drink to get it to begin evaporating, to expose as many of the molecules in the drink to air as you can. So I'm going to take a little dry ice and drop into this glass, and I want you to watch the fumes and vapors as they come up. The lighter molecules of the ethanol are moving at very high speeds when they're compressed. So as soon as they pass through this opening and they flare out with the lip, the ethanol disappears over the edge and it leaves a little sweet spot right here in the middle of all those much heavier things that you get the major smells from in your whiskeys, bourbons, rums, and tequilas.